Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at special case equations. We're going to answer the question, what are the three types of solutions to equations? So this first one, you are probably used to seeing one solution. It's when we end up with something like x equals negative 1. There's only one value that will make the equation true. The solution comes out to a variable equals a number such as x equals 1. So let's see what that looks like when we're solving an equation. If you notice, my variables are different here. 2x and negative 2x are different. So let's just solve this like normal. I'm going to add 2x to both sides. And I get 4x plus 1 equals negative 3. And then I would subtract 1 and get 4x equals negative 4. So then x equals negative 1. So that is an example of one solution. There's only one number, negative 1, that would make this equation true when I substituted it in. And we can test that out really quick. If I do 2 times negative 1 plus 1, I get negative 1. And I should get the same thing on the other side too. Negative 2 times negative 1 minus 3 is also negative 1. And if you tried any other number, it would not make that equation true. So that's what one solution is. Let's look at our second case no solution. That means that there is no value that would make the equation true. The final solution is false and our variables are going to zero out. If you notice in this statement right here, one equals negative one, that is false and there's no x in it. So let's see what happens in our equation. So if you notice in this equation right here, my variables are the same, negative 8x and negative 8x. My constants are different though. So let's see what happens whenever I solve this. If I try to move my variables to the same side, if I add 8x to both sides, I get negative 4 equals negative 2, which is not true. This is a false statement. So that means that there is no solution that would make this equation true. There's no number that we could plug in for x that would make that equation work. All right, let's look at our last one, infinite solutions. This is when all real numbers make the equation true. The final solution is gonna be a true statement where our variables zero out, like one equals one. There's no variables there and that's a true statement. So let's look at our equation and solve it and see what happens. So if you notice my variables are the same, negative 9x and negative 9x, like they were up here. But with the no solution, my constants were different. And with the infinite solution, my constants are also the same. So if you notice, I have negative 9x and negative 5 on both sides of the equation. Let's try to solve it and see what happens. If I move my variables to the same side, it zeroes out, and I'm left with negative 5 equals negative 5, which is true. So that means that all real numbers, sometimes we'll represent it with this symbol, work. Or sometimes we will say infinite solutions. And you can just put the infinity sign because whatever number we plug in is going to work. You could plug in one, it would make the equation true. Let's try that, negative five minus nine times one is negative 14. And it will be the same thing on the other side too. Negative 9 times 1 minus 5 is also negative 14. You could plug in 0, you could plug in 1,000. Any number is going to work. Infinite solutions will work. Okay, so let's practice solving a few equations. Let's look at this first one. I want to distribute. So I get 12x plus 12 minus 6x equals 12 plus 6x. Okay, now I'm going to finish simplifying this left side of the equation. I'm going to combine 12x and negative 6x. And 12x minus 6x is 6x. And I get 6x plus 12 equals 12 plus 6x. So if you notice right here, 
I can tell it's going to be a special case because my variables are the exact same. And I think it's going to be infinite solutions because the constants are the same too, but I'm going to finish solving to prove it. I'm going to zero out the variables. And I get 12 equals 12, which is true. So that means that there are infinite solutions to this equation. All right, let's look at this next one. I'm going to distribute on both sides and I'll get 20x minus 12 equals negative 9x minus 12. And now I'm going to move the variables to the same side. Um, and this one's probably going to be one solution because as you can tell, my variables are different. So I'm going to add 9x to both sides and I get 29x minus 12 equals negative 12. All right, now I'm gonna add 12 to both sides. All right, my constants are going to zero out, but when my constants zero out, that is not a special case. It's when the variables zero out. This is still gonna be a one solution because if I finish solving, I get x equals zero. So just because your constant zero out doesn't mean it's a special case. That just means that your answer is going to be zero. So this would be a one solution. And the one solution that works is x equals zero. All right, let's look at this next one. I'm going to distribute a negative 0.75. So I'm going to do negative 0.75 times 60 and I get negative 45. And then negative 0.75 times 12 is negative 9, so that becomes negative 9x. Equals, I can combine like terms on the right side of the equation. Negative 3x minus 6x is negative 9x. And then bring down the minus 15. So at this point, I see that my variables are the same, so it's going to be a special case, and I'm assuming it's no solution since the constants are different. I'm just going to prove that by zeroing out the variables. And I get negative 45 equals negative 15, which is not true, so that means that there is no solution. And a symbol for no solution that I forgot to put up above is... This just means empty set. There's no numbers that will make the equation true. All right, let's look at number four. I need to simplify first. So I'm gonna bring down this 10 and then I'm gonna distribute this negative or you can think of it as an invisible negative one. And I get 10 minus two X minus six equals negative four X plus four plus two X. So I took care of the distributing. Now let's combine like terms. On this side, I need to combine the 10 and negative 6. So 10 minus 6 is 4, so I get 4 minus 2x equals. And on the right side, I can combine negative 4x and 2x. Negative 4x plus 2x is negative 2x. And then I bring down the 4. So now I can tell this is going to be a special case since my variables are the same and the constants are the same, so it's going to be infinite solution. Let's prove it by zeroing out the variables. And I get four equals four, which is true. So that means I have infinite solutions. All right, let's look at number five. I need to distribute that negative 0.5, so I'm gonna bring down the seven. Negative 0.5 times 10 is negative 5x, and then negative 0.5 times negative four is positive two. And it equals, I can combine like terms here, two plus five is seven. 
So I get 7 minus 5x. So I can see that my variables are the same, but I still need to do some simplifying on this side to figure out exactly what's going to happen. So 7 plus 2 is 9. So that simplifies to 9 minus 5x on that side, and then I get 7 minus 5x. Okay, now I can see that it's probably going to be no solution since the constants are different and my variables are the same. Let's prove it by zeroing out the variables. And I get 9 equals 7, which is false. So this is a no solution equation. There's no solution that would make the equation true. All right, last one, I just have 4x on this side. Let's simplify this side and see what happens. So I'm gonna bring down the 4x equals, I'm gonna bring down the 38, since that's not a part of the distributing. Negative 1 half times 4x is negative 2x, and negative 1 half times 16 is negative 8. And now I'm going to combine like terms. 38 minus 8 is 30. So I get 4x equals 30 minus 2x. And I can tell that this is going to be a one solution since my variables are different. So let's finish solving it. I'm going to move my variables to the same side now. And I get 6x equals 30. And then I'm going to divide by 6. And 30 divided by 6 is 5.